The private sector firm Astra Microwave will supply two units of the Utam Mark II radar unit for the Tejas Mark II aircraft at a cost of 12.8 crore rupees, and the deliveries will be completed by 15th of April 2022. Astra Microwave was declared the L1 bidder, whereas Bharat Electronics Limited was the L2 bidder. It will have 992 transmit receive modules and will have a detection range of 160 kilometers. As per latest reports, the first prototype of the Tejas Mark II will be rolled out much ahead of schedule in early 2022, and will conduct its flight in early 2023. Russia's lead submarine of the larger class is all set to start overhaul and modernization at the Kronstadt shipyard, during which it will be integrated with a fuel cell AIP system. This is significant, as Russia has offered to build an export version of the larger class in the Indian Navy's Project 75I, and as India has demanded the demonstration of a sea-proven AIP system, the commissioning of the first serial production larder class submarine into the Russian Navy in 2022, will strengthen the Russian pitch for Project 75I. At a time when the Korean F-A-50 and Indian Tejas light combat aircraft are seen as the top two contenders in the Malaysian light combat aircraft program, a Korean news media has reported that the delay in integrating an ASA radar with the F-A-50 might cost South Korea the Malaysian fighter jet tender, as India's Tejas light combat aircraft has an edge in this area. Korea Aerospace Industries plans to upgrade the aircraft especially for exports, and the upgrade in 2022 is aimed to convert the F-A-50 into a multi-role combat aircraft. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has showcased a set of actuators, stabilizers and air brake servo control modules to Defence Minister Rajnath Singh yesterday, that have been developed for India's 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet programme. Aeronautical Development Establishment along with Hindustan Aeronautics has started manufacturing components like actuators landing gear and brakes for the first AMCA technological demonstrator that will be rolled out in 2024. The first flight will be concluded by 2025, and the second technology demonstrator aircraft will be ready by 2025, so that the first phase of technology demonstration is concluded and the program moves to phase 2 in 2027. Hindustan Aeronautics will start the process of manufacturing the first four Tejas trainer aircraft from the third quarter of 2022. 18 Tejas trainer jets have been ordered by the Air Force, that will be in FOC standard, and will come with mid-air refueling probe and the capability to fire the Astra Mark 1 and Derby air-to-air -air missiles. The FOC standard Tejas trainer will also be cleared with an additional tank with 725 litre capacity installed at the centre of the fuselage, and will also carry two fixed tanks of 1,200 and 800 litres capacity, that will allow it to fly for longer missions. After successfully indigenizing and delivering the first lot of corsets for air-launched Brahmos cruise missile, the private sector firm Combustion Research Associates has successfully qualified the transportation and storage corset for the land-based version of Brahmos missile. Various advanced Russian material grades have been indigenized to meet the rigorous strength requirements of this critical assembly, and now the Combustion Research Associates will start delivering production units of air version corsets and land version corsets to the Brahmos Aerospace over the next two years. The DRDO has successfully flight-tested the Obyash high-speed expendable aerial target drone from the integrated test range. It is launched using twin underslung boosters, and is powered by a gas turbine engine to sustain a long endurance flight at subsonic speed, and will be used as an aerial target for evaluating various missile systems. India's Ministry of Defence has signed a 423 crore rupees deal with the US 
for additional Mark 54 lightweight torpedoes and expendables such as chaff and flares for the P-8I fleet of the Indian Navy, and the principal contractor for this deal is Raytheon Integrated Defence System. The Navy will also sign another deal for 10 AGM-84L Harpoon Block II air-launched missiles and related equipment at an estimated cost of $92 million, in which Boeing will be the principal contractor. The British Royal Navy's F-35B has started joint exercises with the MiG-29K and Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force under the Indo-UK joint exercise Konkan Shakti in the Arabian Sea, and this is the first time that the Indian military will be operating with a fifth-generation fighter. The Indian Air Force has also deployed Falcon AWACS, wax Netra airborne early warning and control aircraft and in-flight refueling tankers. The first meeting of Indo-Russian subgroup on military cooperation planning was held at New Delhi, in which both sides deliberated on ongoing and planned military activities and expressed satisfaction on their depth and scope, and they also discussed new ways to further enhance bilateral military ties.